one have you ever had groundnut sauce with silver fish guess what it's what i'm preparing today if you've never had it before keep around and see how i prepare it if yes also keep around and i show you how i prepare mine i'm going to use only two spoons of groundnuts it's very enough for the soup that you're going to make this is going to be a serving of only three people and then i'm going to heat the pan and cook it then i'll show you everything step by step this is how i cook my groundnuts most people first uh, put them in water and then they make a paste but me i put it in the saucepan put some heat and then heat it and stir slowly until everything is separate So I'm going to be heating these for about 10 minutes until they start producing some oil and then I'll be adding some vegetables, I'll add onions, green paper and tomatoes. As the groundnuts start changing the color, you add your vegetables. I've used two small red onions, one green capsicum, and one tomato. You don't need cooking oil for this specific recipe because groundnuts produce a lot of oil. Uh, so when you see that your groundnuts are starting to become oily, you start adding in some water. I'm going to stir shortly and then I'll add more water to it. When they are brown, you switch off and then soak them in some water. After five minutes of soaking the silver fish, add them to the boiling groundnuts. Also add some salt to add taste to the groundnuts. And then you're going to let the groundnuts boil for about 30 minutes. When they produce some oil, they'll be ready for eating. Like I said before, when the groundnuts produce some oil, they are ready to be eaten. The aroma from the groundnuts is very, very nice and they look very delicious. I can't wait to have them. I'm going to have them with some matoke. Matoke is green bananas. Steamed green bananas taste very, very good with the groundnuts. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my kitchen by Nana. Bye.